What's up everyone? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I have a very fun topic to go over here. Okay, some of you who have been following my channel for a while have noticed a character, Sonny Arvado, okay? A big bodybuilding type guy, okay? Whose contribution to the, the community in the past year has just been spamming a whole bunch of bullshit about how the only thing that matters is looks. The only thing that matters is looks. If you're not good looking, then you're fucked, okay? And this is kind of why our friendship ended. This was the catalyst that caused a whole bunch of bullshit. All right, and now he's releasing a new book. Okay, so he's emerged from the shadows and is befriending a whole bunch of guys with Facebook groups or YouTube channels around the community because he's releasing this new book, okay? Guys that he's relentlessly and endlessly talked shit on, okay, over and over and over. And a bunch of them that are doing these interviews with him are even aware of this, okay? But they're huge pussies, so they allow him on their channel or on their fucking uh, Facebook group. And let's take a quick look at how his last book went, okay? This review here lines up very closely with my sentiments about the book, which I could not voice at the time of being friends with him. The title says, When the aim is off by an inch, the bullet may miss my... <laughs> When the aim is off by an inch, the bullet may miss by a mile. This book tried and tried to dive deep, but ultimately barely scratched the surface of the problem or the real solution that are, that's facing men today. If you're looking for an alternative workout method, it could be what you need. Beyond that, there's a good deal of semi-philosophical musing that rarely rises beyond the level of opinion. That's what I felt the whole way through. I was a philosophy major, just a whole bunch of assertions. There's no rational or empirical argument behind any of it <laughs> rarely rises beyond the level of opinion and hum humanistic idealism calling on men to build a skyscraper with no foundation nice work i sincerely applaud the author's interests and intentions and look forward to trying his workout routine but you'll need to dig a little deeper than cell phones and tainted storage containers to uncover either the source of man's malaise or the hope of humanity's salvation so Sonny has basically been MIA the past nine months, besides his dumb fucking group, okay, the Looks Max group, uh, having a monogamous girlfriend, okay? Now, first of all, I have a few points to cover here. First of all, his last book, at the end of the day, was trash, okay? It got a whole bunch of five-star reviews because he spammed a whole bunch of people and told them to write five-star reviews and relentlessly hounded them, myself included, but I know of many others. And it didn't matter if they'd read the book or not. Just put the, the review on Amazon. It's really important. Just buy the book. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the money for it, etc. Just so you can do a verified purchase and, and give me more five-star reviews. Okay? And then it was just a whole bunch of bullshit assertions. Okay? In his own mind, his me megalomania, he thinks he's some grand author. He, <laughs> he writes this is a multi-best-selling multi author Okay, in, in his fantasy world. Okay, now, <laughs> this next book, which is was supposed to be released about a year ago, not that it even fucking matters, uh, this next book is about Instagram and the forces at B. I, <laughs> someone was messaging me about it, and they were like, why is he putting out a book on Instagram? He has like a thousand followers. Actually, let me just check that real quick. Uh... <laughs> But I can tell you for a fact, he, he's talking about, like, on the, on the interview he did with Playing With Fire, he's talking about, uh, oh, 610 followers, even better. Okay. He, <laughs> he's talking about, on the Playing With Fire interview, how, oh, social circle, and you need social circle, and this and that. I was close friends with the dude. He barely has any friends. He's a huge loner. He doesn't know many people in any of the cities he lives in. Okay. He... That's, that's just the fact of the matter, okay? In his mind, he's this ideal man as a, as a leading beacon of men, okay? The reality is he's a loner. He doesn't have many friends. He doesn't have a social circle, okay? And here he is supposed to be an expert about this shit. So basically, he's emerged from the depths, okay? And he's getting interviews on channels like Playing With Fire, like... Uh, Chris Wilde from Social Prime is going to do one with him. Okay, Chris Wilde, who's going to get totally blasted apart in a roast, probably in this coming week because it's been a long time coming. Uh, I was just talking to his, his girlfriend with the horse face at the gym 
with her fucking stains on her teeth. It's nasty as shit. This kid's basically a 23-year-old pseudo-psychologist giving ecstasy and LSD to students so they can have emotional trauma-filled experiences. So, and then, you know, they see that as results. Okay, he's ripped off all shitload of people. He's almost exhausted the amount of saps and suckers in his cult group following on Facebook. And he will be destroyed in a roast soon. Okay, but that being said, Chris, Chris Wilde, Sonny used to talk endless shit on this kid. Okay, and he's even done so publicly. But now Chris is graciously bringing him on for an interview, even though Chris doesn't have much following either. None of these guys really have much following. Some of these channels are new, etc. So it's not, it's not like that big of a deal. I just find it funny. He did the same thing with Tim Ray. Talked endless shit on him. Tried to leverage his brand to run a fucking live program because Sonny himself has no brand. Okay, despite 300 videos, he has barely any fucking people that give a shit about his stuff. And it's been like that for a while. And, he, and he's retiring in September at age 30. He's done with coaching as if he was even really coaching before. <laughs> so the point is, I expect this book to be dog shit. I've heard from mutual friends that he's, uh, what's it called? He's telling them to come on and do the five-star reviews. You know, the same old fucking tricks and game, okay? It's just, it's just pathetic, okay? Because a lot of these, you know, kind of a point to make here that's, that's relevant to, to a wider audience that doesn't even know what the fuck I'm talking about here is a bunch of these coaches or these, these guys, okay, because he's basically hounding everyone to give me FaceTime, give me exposure about my new book. It's revolutionary. It's going to be the best book you ever read. Yeah. Total horse shit, right? But these fucking pussy coaches, and I'm not talking about you, Alex. You're my good buddy. But I was disappointed because you know that he has fucking indeed talked shit about you. They're allowing him to fucking come on, even though he doesn't like most of these people. He, he despises them. And they're giving him FaceTime to promote his book just because he, he's like pressing them. Okay, so that being said, I think, I think, you know, the whole thing's kind of a joke. Okay, this, <laughs> I'm looking at one other review here. I gave the book a mediocre, this is about his last book. I gave the book a mediocre rate, rating because following its advice has left me broken alone. <laughs> it's literally a review on Amazon. But the thing is, okay, to touch on the Looks Max group, okay, because this is this is a relevant point for for everyone that doesn't even know. I'm kind of talking about like community drama bullshit here. Um, <laughs> his Looks Max group, he's trying to say that your ability to get girls and your success with girls is all just related to looks. If you're not good looking, you're fucked. And everyone is on his his small little group, okay, wasting their time, making fun of each other and pointing out flaws in each other, and like worshiping this like Chad character, okay? And Chad, for those of you that don't know, is supposed to be like this ideal man, like this like chiseled, like Adonis type fucking, you know, Greek God type character. And everyone's like putting Chad memes. And it's largely, largely, largely unproductive. It's largely counterproductive because everyone feels like defeated. They're like, oh, I wasn't born with a good jawline or like a symmetrical face. Therefore, I can't get women. And if you say like, oh, I know, you know, short dudes or ethnic dudes or overweight dudes that get girls, you know, Sonny will be like, oh, those are anomalies. Those are, those are just the exception. My stance on the whole looks thing is that you should optimize what you have to work with and then forget about it. It's, there's no point, like maximize your sexual market value, okay? You are probably within some kind of range and optimize what you can so you can maximize whatever current level you're at and whatever current range you're at okay i fuck hot chicks all the time i'm not a super like a model looking dude okay and i, I know plenty of dudes that are extremely good looking that, that haven't even fucked 10 chicks yet and again there is some correlation to how good you are looking but all you can, the only productive thing you can do is optimize what you have to work with okay so there's no point to have a looks max group. There's no point to have looks max discussions. There's no point to have endless discussions about do looks matter and all this other stupid shit. And this is largely why we parted ways as friends. Because he's like, oh, there is no game. It's just looks. And that was right on the heels of like Chris Wilde and Social Prime saying, 
Oh, there is no game. It's just childhood trauma. Pickup isn't a skill game. Pickup is dead. Pick, you know, pickup is zero percent strategy and tactics. Okay. So I guess everything on my channel that works consistently and gets guys extremely good results very quickly that I've been seeing for almost a decade is just some kind of dream I'm living in. Point being, Sonny's fucking embarrassing himself. Uh, his retirement, you know, what, what the world will never be the same in two months is, uh, is right around the corner. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm not even going to mention the book because it's retarded and a bunch of you might waste your time. So that's that. Shame on you fuckers in the community who are, are promoting this dude when he fucking laughs behind your back all day long and does not embody any of the shit about being a real man or having a good social circle or having a great Instagram or any of the shit that he writes about. Okay, And he doesn't back up any of the claims that he writes about either. It's just all assertions and opinion and, and a whole bunch of horse shit. Okay? And he's not even fucking doing game he's in a relationship with some like little kid chick even though he'd be, oh why are you he'd always say to me why are you why are you fucking young chicks you gotta date someone that's more mature okay apparently his girlfriend's 21 so that's that uh thank you very much here's hoping <laughs> i'm not even gonna say it but it's just a little pathetic when he puts these flurries of videos on his channel and they get like 100 or 200 views each but anyways thank you guys Hope that was informative.